So here's the thing. You try to combine different trading indicators to build a profitable trading system. Okay, you try the moving average, you try the CCI, you try the RSI. But what happens is that when you put all these indicators together, you don't actually know how to use it. Okay, because one indicator tells you to buy and the other indicator tells you to sell. Okay, so it's very confusing for you and somehow you can't seem to make it work. Okay, if that is you, then in today's video, I want to show you how to combine trading indicators. Okay, how do you put them together to build a profitable trading strategy. Okay, so there is a right way to do it and there is a wrong way of doing it. Okay, if you do it in a wrong way, it's going to be very frustrating because the more you study trading indicators, the more confused you get and there is really no end to trading indicators. There are thousand and one trading indicators, okay? So if you keep studying trading indicators, but you do not understand, you know, what we are about to share with you, then you will always be confused, okay? You'll always be what I call the black hole of learning in which you are just consuming more and more and more training indicators, but you are not making any breakthrough in your progress as a trader. Okay, so in today's video, I want to show you the right way to combine training indicators. Okay, I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide. Okay, so that uh, hopefully it can break you out of that black hole of learning, right, and show you uh, the right way to do it. Okay, so here's a breakdown of what you will learn today. Okay, I'll start by us answering this question that uh, I'm sure most of you have. Okay, it was a question that I myself had when I first started. Okay, so the question is, you know, is there a holy grail of trading where there is a so-called perfect combination of indicators, right? The moment you unlock this uh, combination, then uh, you will unlock your profitability, right? You'll be profitable as long as you can find the indicators, the right set of indicators, okay? I'll answer that question. Okay, I will also talk about how not to combine your indicators. Okay, in fact, most of you are probably already doing this. Okay, so this is very important. So you make sure you want to take notes for this portion. You want to stick around and watch this portion. Okay, you do not want to combine your trading indicators this way. Okay, doing it this way will cost you a lot of money. Okay, so I'll show you not to do this. And after that, I want to show you the four main category of trading indicators, right? Give you an example of each. And lastly, I want to show you how do you actually combine these trading indicators and form a profitable trading strategy using each of these, you know, uh, categories of trading indicators. Okay, so it's a guide. Okay, so make sure you stick to the end. Okay, now by the way, if you are new to this channel, right, please give us a thumbs up, right, please hit the subscribe button because uh, we are on a mission to impact 100,000 traders, okay, and we need your help in order to, you know, reach out to more traders. Okay, in fact, uh, we have also prepared a free day trading guide for you, which uh, you can see over here. Okay, it's a full comprehensive guide of 33 pages. We made it free for you because uh, we are doing our best to serve you, okay? We are trying to make an impact in this uh, trading community. So make sure you download it. The link is in the description, okay? That will teach you uh, everything you need to know to get started as a trader, okay? The, the strategy, how to identify market conditions, it's all there. So make sure you grab that. But if not, let's talk about the first question, okay? Is there a holy grail of trading where you find the uh, perfect combination of indicators? Now, when I first started, right, uh, I was kind of like you. I'm really no different than like you. I'm just an average person. Right? I was looking for the perfect combination of indicators. So that got me started on a journey. Okay, I studied a ton of indicators. Okay, probably you can relate. You know, I studied CCI, you know, the Donchen channel, moving average. You know, I even studied the mathematics of it, right? How do you calculate it? Because I didn't just want to slap the, the indicator on the charts without understanding the calculation, right? I studied all of that, but um, my trading didn't improve because I was just studying indicators and indicators. I knew the knowledge, but I didn't know how to apply it, okay? So after studying so long, I came to the conclusion that Honestly, there is no holy grail, okay? There's no such thing as a perfect combination of indicators, okay? There is only a combination of indicators which you are comfortable with, you know, a combination which you feel that, you know, suits your trading style, okay? There is no perfect combination, okay? So once and for all, right, please stop looking for the perfect combination of indicators, okay? It doesn't exist, okay? Please Please bear this in mind, okay? There is no perfect combination of indicators, okay? The sooner you accept this fact, okay, the more heartaches you're going to save yourself, okay? So I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm going to tell you that it doesn't exist, okay? So please do not keep thinking that you need to keep studying different indicators until you find the perfect combination, okay? Do not waste your time. 
Okay, in fact, this is uh, what I observe. Okay, I observe that new traders, right, struggling traders, they always look at indicators, then they make a decision. Okay, they tell me things like, oh, you know, the, the, the RSI is up, you know, the moving average is up, so I buy. Okay, but professionals, on the other hand, they don't look at it this way. What they do is they look at the structure first from a trading bias, then they look at the, tra the trading indicators at the, at the end of their process, meaning they already have their direction, they already know what they want to do, then they look at the trading indicators, okay, versus the amateur traders which only looks at indicators, right, because it's so easy, just slap on an indicator and the indi indicator tells you to buy, you buy. Okay, so please do not do that. Okay, please always remember that your market structure comes first, your bias, then you look at indicators as the last step. Okay, again, this entire process is documented in the free day training guide. Okay, the link is in the description. So just uh, make sure you check that out. Okay, it's completely free. Okay, no catch. Okay, not, not trying to sell anything. Just get the free day training guide. Okay. So now that this is out of the way, I want to talk about how not to combine uh, indicators, okay? How, how most traders are getting it wrong, okay? So I've put out a chart over here. This is Euro dollar, okay? You can see that this is Euro dollar here, okay? So what happens is that a lot of traders, when they are starting out, they, 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 you know, they study about RSI, which is the Relative Strength Index, okay? They study about Stochastics, okay? And the MAC, MACD, okay? So what happens is that they put a series of indicators together and they say, okay, so I want the highest probability trades. So the highest probability trade is when all three, you know, all three indicators is telling me to buy, then I buy. Okay, now that sounds very logical. Okay, I can understand that because that was a mistake that I made myself. Okay, but here's the thing. Here is where people get it wrong. Okay, these three indica indicators over here, RSI, Stochastics, and MAC a MACD, right? Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Okay, what did these three indicators are, they are actually Stochastics in nature, meaning that they are calculated similarly. Okay, so because they are calculated similarly, the trading signal is going to be the same. Okay, so if you look in this case, this is an up, this is an up, this is an up, and you say that, oh, um, you know, three of my indicators tell me that I should be buying. So this is a very high probability trade. So I should be buying. But really, it's not three indicators telling you to buy. It's only one. Okay, this is very important because these three indicators are almost the same. Okay, in fact, if you look through in history, you can see that all these three indicators, you can see over here, all these three indicators generally point in the same direction most of the time. So what happens is that you're using three of the same thing. Okay, so it, it, it's, it's, not, it's not a wise thing, right? So this isn't triple confirmation. It's actually the same signal. Okay, so all three of these indicators are similar in nature. Okay, if you study the mathematics behind each of these, um, you know, indicators, right, they are generally the same, okay? Not exactly the same, but they are generally the same. So what you're doing is these three indicators have a very high correlation. So it's not three different signals, you know, it's not three different confirmation, it's only one, okay? It's kind of like, let's say you are bullish on Euro dollar and you buy Euro dollar, you sell, uh, you buy, sorry, you buy Euro dollar, you buy Kiwi dollar, you buy pound dollar, okay? The correlation is the same. You are acting on the same signal, except that you are using three different, you know, so-called different indicators when in reality, they are the same. Also, okay, so please do not do it this way, okay? This is how not to combine your indicators, okay? So if you have been making this mistake, the first thing you want to do is you want to correct this, okay? You do not want to use your indicators like this, okay? So now let me show you the four main categories of trading indicators, okay? You need to understand this first, right? Before I can show you the uh, trading indicators guidelines, okay? I know that you want to get to the end, right? You just want to know what the guidelines is, but I cannot go into get guidelines without telling you the four main types of ind indicators first, okay? So just be patient. Make sure you just go through this video, right? Do not skip this part, okay? So there are a lot of indicators out there in the market. In fact, new indicators are being created every single day, okay? If you do a Google search trading indicators, you'll find a million of them, okay? But here's the thing, okay? Generally, if you were to classify them, right, they actually only fall under four main category, okay? Four. So you do not need to know every single indicator, but you need to know this four main categories, okay? So what are the four? The first one is market condition indicators. So this kind of indi indicators tells you the underlying market condition, okay? Then we have the key level indicators which tells you which levels are strong because 
you need to know which levels are strong and then you can look at that level and determine if you want to buy or you want to sell off that level okay then you have the entry indicators which most of you are familiar with in fact most of you only use the uh, entry indicators right when you are trading you just say oh the stochastics up is entry trigger i buy okay that's what most uh, new traders do and this is the only indicator they use which is kind of wrong right because you need to use a combination of them okay and the last one is the trade trade management indicator so this indicator helps you to manage uh, your trades okay so not to worry if you know you you don't really get it yet because i will go into detail um, in each of these indicator okay so let me show you the first one first okay the market condition indicators which tells you the underlying market condition okay uh, just a disclaimer okay uh, I'm not going to explain to you how each of these indicators works to, because uh, it's going to make this video very long. But I just want to show you how you are able to classify each of these trading indicators into uh, one of these four uh, categories. Okay, so on the left over here, we have the moving average. So the moving average is this line over here, this um, blue line. Okay, so what it does is just calculates the, uh, the average price of the past X period. Okay, so in this case, it's a nine period uh, moving average. So the uh, previous nine candles close, it plots the average price. Okay, so it's nothing too complicated. So in a uh, uptrend, you will see that the uh, moving average is uh, sloping up. Okay, so a moving average tells you the underlying market condition. So if you see uh, this chart on the left and you see that, uh, you know, the, the moving average is being respected. Okay, it's being respected and it's sloping up, then you can tell that you are in an uptrend, okay? Now, let's talk about the Bollinger Band, okay? I have a lot of videos about the Bollinger Band because it's a very powerful indicator, okay? So, if you are new, you have not checked it out, make sure you check that out after this, okay? Because this Bollinger Band is very powerful, okay? So, Bollinger Band just tells you the uh, volatility, okay? So, of course, if the band is wide, uh, that means that the market condition is very volatile. It's going up and going down. Very, The swings in the market is very wide. Conversely, if you have a narrow range like this, okay, then you know that the market is in a consolidation and it's a very tight range. Okay, So that's how you use the Bollinger Band to tell you the market condition. Okay, Again, I cannot go into full detail because if I do that, uh, it's going to be a very long video, but I have other videos. So make sure you check that out. Okay, Maybe I'll leave a link in the description or something. But uh, if not, just type Financial Market Wizards uh, Bollinger Band in the search uh, button above and then you'll find our videos. Okay, So that's the first kind. The second kind is the key level indicators which tells you which levels are strong. Okay, uh, In this case, I want to show you uh, the Bollinger Band again, and I want to show you the stochastics. Okay, again, um, I mentioned that the Bollinger Band is a very powerful indicator because it doesn't just tell you the market condition, but it also gives you key levels. Okay, so how do you see the key levels? You just see the upper band. Sorry, okay, this is uh, I drew it a bit wrongly. Okay, um, let me see if I can clear this. Okay, just clear it up. Let me just draw it properly. Okay, so you can see that there's the upper band here, okay, and you have the lower band, okay. So the upper band and lower band of the Bollinger Band is actually a form of dynamic support and resistance, okay. So the Bollinger Band also tells you where support is and where resistance is, and that is why the Bollinger Band uh, is very powerful, okay. So you can see that certain indicators, uh, they, they fall under diff multiple categories, like for this Bollinger Band, it falls under the key level indicator as well as the market condition indicator, okay. So nothing wrong with classifying an indicator under a uh, multiple category. Okay, the other one that I want to show you is the stochastics. Okay, so you can see uh, on the chart on the left is stochastics. So uh, if you can see uh, all these vertical lines that I drew, okay, these are the strong levels. Okay, this is a strong level because uh, price did a turning point here. This is a strong level because price did a turning point here. Okay, this is a strong level because price did a turning point. Uh, turning point here and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is how you use uh, the stochastic to tell you which levels are strong. Okay, there are other indicators. There are many of it such as the volume profile. In fact, the moving average can also tell you um, can also be a level, sorry, can also be a level in the uptrend or in a downtrend. Okay, so uh, I cannot explain everything to you, but I just want you to understand that there are indicators that tell you uh, which levels are strong okay and the two that i covered in this case is the bollinger band and the stochastic 
okay then you have the entry indicators which tells you when to get into the trade okay so in this example i have for you the stochastic and the macd okay so the stochastic same thing when it hooks up that is your entry trigger more than telling you that this is a strong level it's telling you that uh you know this is an entry trigger okay in fact most traders use it this way right the moment they see a hook hook up when the, the stochastic is sloping up and there's a crossover, uh, they buy when there's a, you know, there's a hook down. When there's a crossover, they sell, so on and so forth. Okay, so this is how you, you use it. Very straightforward, nothing much to say about it. Okay, uh, the MACD is the same thing. Okay, you can see I highlighted uh, this one over here. Okay, when it's a crossover and sloping up, it's a buy. Same thing over here. Okay, so you can use uh, this kind of indicators to tell you when to enter the market. Okay, now the last one, okay, the last one is the trade management indicators, which helps you to manage your trade. Okay, in this case, I have for you the moving average and the pivot points. Okay, so a uh, moving average uh, is also, uh, it has multiple users, right? It, it belongs to this as well, which I, I mentioned over here. It belongs to the market condition indicators, as well as the uh, key level indicators, and also the tra trade management indicator. That is why the moving average is very powerful indicator because it falls it into three of the four main category. Okay, so how do you use it? Very simple. If it's uptrend, you can throw your stop loss. You know, uh, let's say you buy somewhere here, you can just throw your stop loss a set distance below the moving average, or you can just exit when uh, this moving average has been violated, meaning that price closed above or below um, the moving average. Okay, pivot point is the same concept. Uh, pivot points they give you uh, levels in the market to look at. So let's say you enter here, you can choose to exit here, or you can choose to you know throw your stop loss. Let's say this level is broken. Let's say R1 is bro broken. Uh, you can throw your stop loss and put the uh, your stop loss below the R1. Okay, again, I cannot go into full detail about how to use each of these indicator, but it is important that you understand the essence of what I'm saying, that you want to categorize the trading in indicators, okay? Because when you are able to categorize the trading indicators, then you can apply these uh, trading guidelines that I have for you, all right? How do you combine trading indicators, okay? So this is the part that I know most of you are waiting for, okay? I, I, I can only come into, you know, this guideline after I've, taught you uh, the different categories of indicators, okay? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to understand the underlying of uh, each category of indicators, okay? The four indicators, the four categories that I've mentioned earlier, you want to understand why you are using each indicator first, okay? The step number two is you want to select one indicator, just one, okay? This is, this is a very important, just select one okay do not select three do not select four okay because if you select four as i mentioned earlier it doesn't it doesn't help right it, it's going to be like this you're going to make this mistake over here where you are just using three of the same indicators okay so really there's no point in using more than one indicator in the category okay so you only want to select one indicator and you do not want to clutter your chart with more than three indicators okay remember your trading indicators is meant as the last step in your trading process, not your first step, okay? So you only want to look at your indicators as a form of trading confirmation, okay? You do not want to trade based on indicators directly without considering the market trend or, you know, uh, price levels, okay? So let me show you an example uh, that I've put together over here uh, and I'll break it down. And after this, I'll do a recap and then I'll end off this video, okay? So I have Euro dollar over here and I put together the um, Bollinger Band. Okay, you can see BB20 is Bollinger Band, uh, the Stochastics and the RSI. Okay, now I, I assume that uh, you understand how to use these indicators, but in case you don't, right, just feel free to do a YouTube search and watch other videos on how to use these indicators. Okay, so in this case, right, let's assume that I bought over here. Okay, this, uh, this arrow up. Okay, so why did I buy? Okay, in market condition is uh, I used the Bollinger Band. Okay, so uh, I'm in an uptrend. Okay, because I have a high, I have a low, I have a higher high, and I have a higher low over here. Okay, so more importantly, I'm at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Okay, so remember I said that the Bollinger Band uh, tells you the market condition as well as um, it tells you uh, the key support and resistance level. Right, so key levels, you also have the Bollinger Band because we are at the lower band. So at the lower band, at support, you want to buy, 
okay? So if you look left over here, okay, you realize that uh, there was a form of a stochastic uh, turning point here, and this corresponds to this, uh, this point being created, okay? So if you look at this point over here and you draw, look left, okay, just a moment, you look left here, you realize that uh, this point here also has a previous stochastic strong uh, resistance level which is now acting as support, okay? And if you look at this over here, this is also a prior swing high, which is a market uh, structure swing high. Okay, so you put this together to get your key levels. Okay, so let me just clear this so that it is clearer. If not, uh, the, the chart is a bit cluttered. Okay, let me just clear all this. Okay, just a moment. Okay, so, so we have the market condition. We have the key levels. Now let's talk about the entry. Okay, so... I've looked, I've used the stochastic as the entry because earlier on I explained that stochastic can be an entry indicator. So you can see over here that uh, at this point, at this engulfing pattern over here, there is a crossover. Okay. In fact, if you look at the RSI, it's also sloping up. Okay. So that is how uh, you, you combine uh, the indicators. Okay. And how do you uh, manage the trade? Okay. How do you manage the trade? Okay. Very simple. Okay, how do you manage a trade? You, you, for me in this case, I will look at the target, the upper band, okay, Bollinger band, okay. So you can also use the Bollinger band to uh, take profit or to trail your um, stop loss, okay, in the case of a Bollinger band trend, okay. Again, I have covered this concept in other videos, so make sure you check that out. But uh, this is just a breakdown of, you know, how you can uh, combine your trading indicators uh, to form a winning strategy, okay? Again, this is just an example. I'm not saying that you have to use these three indicators, right? Remember the guideline is that uh, you, you can select uh, three indicate, up to three indicators that you're comfortable with. Just make sure that you select uh, one indicator from each category and you do not uh, you know, make the same mistake of um, you know, um, choosing all of the same indicators which are in the same category, okay? Because uh, if not, you are just looking for more of the same thing, okay? You want different indi indicators. You want to put different indicators together to help you form, um, you know, your trading idea, okay? So just a recap, okay? So at the start of the, this video, I explained to you that there is unfortunately no holy grail of trading, right? There is no perfect combination of indicators, okay? I advise you not to look for it because honestly, there's no point, okay? Right, there's no point. Just select a two or three indicators which you are comfortable with, put it together and learn to use the indicators correctly, okay? I also talk about how not to combine your indicators, okay? Do not use more of the same types of indicators, right? Because you are just, you are just, there's a lot of correlation, you are just looking at the same thing, there's no point, okay? So I talk about the four main category of trading indicators, right? You have your market condition, uh, indicators, you have the key level indicators, you have your entry indicators, and you have your trade management indicators, okay? I showed you some examples, okay? I didn't go into depth on how to use each of the indicators because otherwise this will be a long, long video, but I want you to understand the essence of what I'm trying to say, right? That there are four categories and I want you to choose one of the indicator from, you know, each of the four, okay? Uh, but do not use more than four indicators, okay? So that's the trading indicators guideline that I have for you, okay? So if not, I've come to end of this video. If you have any questions, okay, anything at all, just leave a comment down below, okay? We love to help you, right? We love to connect with you. We are trying to build a, a community of traders, right? To trade together, right? We're trying to build up, you know, um, community of traders that, you know, we can discuss about the market, you know, day in and day out, you know, if you had a bad trading day, we can talk about it. So, right, we love to connect with you. But uh, if you have any questions, we need to know, right? If you have any struggles, we want to help you. Right? We can help you if, you know, we do not understand what you are going through, right? So feel free to leave a comment down below, right? Give us a thumbs up, right? Help support this channel, right? Share this with your friend, right? Subscribe to the channel, okay? And feel free to email us if you have any other questions. If not, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.